Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Vicky. If you're not new here and you've been here before, well, welcome back. Um, I'm doing, girl, a long overdue like life update because I have not been on socials like that for the past couple months. Also, obviously there's something much different. If you're not new here, you can see I cut my hair which is a whole thing in and of itself. I did record it and it's on TikTok in case you wanted to watch that. Also, if you hear my child yelling in the back, I'm a mom, okay? And he's watching Gracie's Corner. So listen, we're doing the best we can with what we got. Um, but anyway, this video is in partnership with Sephora. I'm so excited to be partnering with Sephora because duh, it's Sephora and I've been doing this for a very long time. So to have partnered with them once again, after all these years is always a blessing and so exciting because I mean, it's Sephora, who doesn't love Sephora? Um, and everything I'm gonna be talking about in this video is from Sephora. If you're not a beauty insider already, go ahead and sign up to be a Sephora beauty insider. There's three different tiers, obviously. If you're not new to this, you already know. I've been a Rouge member for the last 10 years or so. <laughs> There's Rouge members, VIB members, and the insiders. So wherever you start off, you get perks. I was gonna just do a haul, but I kinda wanna do like my updated skin routine, not skin, my updated um, makeup routine because I haven't done a get ready with me, like a chit chat get with me in forever and I know those used to be y'all's jam but I also love favorites videos too I kind of want to do that too so it's going to be like a mashup of a get ready with me slash um favorites video and share with you guys some of the new things that I'm really really loving from Sephora so yeah all the products that I'm going to be talking about in this video will be listed down in the description box click the links shop to you drop well I'm going to talk about my hair and why I cut it while I do this because I want to also make sure that you guys understand <laughs> why I showed up bald to this video. But this is such good timing. I'm so glad that I'm doing this video right now because my hair is fresh. Like I just cut it a week and a half ago. It's been about a week. This has been the best week of the year for me thus far. Like hands down, this week has been amazing because I feel so free. I, so, I feel so much more free. And before I even signed on to do this video, before I even agreed to this video, I was just like, getting offers to do videos, getting opportunities. And I'm just like, I don't want them. Like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to be on social media. Let me just, I'm just going to be, this is going to be a very transparent video. So I have two new primers that I want to try out. Um, I got a box full of stuff. I ordered like a ton of stuff. Okay. So I got a box full of things. So we're just going to talk about all of it, but I gotta, I gotta get it out. I did buy, um, my old favorite, just in case my new favorites don't work out for me. I have the hydro grip primer. Um, you already know if you're not oh that wait this is the setting spray yeah this is the grip set and refresh spray that's not what i'm gonna start off with though i did buy oh here you go i did buy a hydro grip primer i love this primer um since the fall season is coming up i'm gonna prepare get ahead and prepare for the um colder weather because my skin I love to hydrate my skin hydrating my skin is important um i've really been on this because everybody's been telling me to try danessa merrick's Myrix, Myrix, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I've been wanting to try her stuff. So I actually got the Yummy um, Skin Blurring Balm Powder. I got this with my mom like maybe two weeks ago, three weeks ago. So I did get the Kabuki brush because I love me a Kabuki brush. So I was like, oh, that one's cute. I gotta get that one too. Oh, I like this. I like this already. So this is the, the little teardrop Kabuki. Very cute. Oh, it has a, it has a little, it has a bed put it in bed that's so cute i love that because normally with kabuki brushes i don't got nowhere to put them they kind of just get makeup everywhere but this is nice i love a kabuki brush for applying my foundation i got the yummy skin glow serum um and this one is the juice boost one it's like a bronzing one i got the main squeeze one as well yeah this one's more of like a champagne color and then i also got the yummy uh, moisture Repair Balm Serum for face and body. Again, I love being moisturized. I love anything with hyaluronic acid in it because it's gonna help not only keep my face moisturized, but help me to control oil as well. So um, I'm definitely excited to have this to go with the Blurring Balm because what I've noticed about the Blurring Balm is when I wear it, it sets really, really well, but at the same time, it kind of makes me feel dry after a while if I don't have anything hydrating on underneath it. So 
I definitely want to apply something hydrating. It has the little um, applicator underneath on, on the top here. And then that's what it that's what it looks like. So we're gonna try that today. Um, I love me some hydro grip. Don't get me wrong. Might still apply the hydro grip on top to give like a double moisture. But I definitely want to try this. I also got Refi. I had another Refi primer that I was using forever for like years. And I finally ran out of it. So I wanted to try this one. This is new. This is the Face Primer Blur and Hydrate. That's what it looks like. Very basic packaging. I know. I got a ton of primers. Don't judge me. Okay. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to apply this with my hands or with a brush. It also has these beads in it. I'm interested. Oh. My skin has been looking great lately, by the way, if you didn't notice. My skin has been pretty much acne free for like the past four or five years. I mean, it hasn't been explosive like it used to be since I've been taking care of my body. So since like 2017, my face ain't been bad, but it's definitely looking really good these days. All right, so that is the Moisture Repair Balm. And this, this looks really greasy, but I promise y'all when I put this blurring balm on, my face is gonna look really matte after a while, so this is nice. I'm gonna make sure I get my under eyes really good too because. Okay, and then I'm gonna try the the refi one as well. I cut my hair a week and a half ago. I feel like I needed a change, number one, but I haven't been feeling like cutting my hair for a while because honestly, like my hair, I keep having postpartum shedding in waves. Like I thought it was gonna just happen once and then go away, but it keeps coming back in waves and that's really annoying. Um, and it got to a point where I was literally like taking a shower, washing my hair and crying every time I washed my hair. And this was once a week because I would do my hair once a week. I had not been straightening it. I had not been putting heat on it at all the whole summer. And I was still experiencing this really bad shedding. With my postpartum journey in general, like I just really felt like I needed some change in my life. I just haven't felt like myself in so long that I really wanted to do something for me that felt like me. And cutting my hair is usually the first thing I go to. Last year, I was kind of in like a daze, you know, like trying to get my footing with postpartum and being a mom and all that. This year, once he turned one, it seemed like my hormones shifted again. And this also has been a really hard year for us. Like it got to a point where I'm like, okay, we need to reset like, mentally, physically, spiritually, financially. We need to just have a good reset um, and figure out what we're gonna do because life has just been lifing. And maybe one day me and Cam will like sit down and talk about it on our podcast or something as a collective because I'm not gonna sit here and talk about his business on here. Um, but just know there was a lot going on this year where we felt like we needed to take a break from just being really vocal about what's going on in our life and just like maintenance. We needed a rebirth, you know, renewal. So for me, that looked like taking a step back. I talked about this on my TikTok. Do I wanna do my, actually, I'm gonna do eyebrows first. So I also bought some new refi pencils. I bought three of these. <laughs> I love the refi pencils, so I bought three. One, two, and I already opened one because I needed it really bad the other day. Three. Um, this is my favorite brow pencil, but it just runs out really fast. Um, since June, I've been in therapy. I want to I want to say around March is really when I felt like, okay, I'm not doing okay. Last year, I feel like I could still manage. Like I wasn't really like feeling postpartum depression, like PPD. I really didn't feel like I had postpartum depression. Um, but then as soon as Xander turned one and I felt my hormones drop again, that's when I was like, my postpartum rage got worse. <laughs> but honestly, the rage doesn't really come from postpartum. It comes from my hormones plus being overstimulated, having too much sensory input, and also burnout. I got to the, the burnout point last year. I got to that point maybe around like uh, November or December. I started feeling burnout around Christmas time. I took a week off social media. And then when I got back on around the new year, I stopped scrolling. I stopped scrolling on Instagram altogether because I just felt like I needed to be able to look at social media from a non-biased lens of like content creation and trying to keep up and trying to be on and trying to make sure I'm doing everything right. And it just felt like the position I was put in, the pressure that I was given 
was to compare myself to other moms and how they're doing their social media and how I should be like showing up and showing my kid and posting more about him and sharing my postpartum struggles. And I just felt really pressured to do all of that. And y'all know me, if I feel pressured to do something, I'm gonna be like, do the opposite. I'm just gonna take some time off. I'm not gonna scroll. I don't wanna see what other people are doing. Um, I just wanna focus on me. And I wanna get back to a point where I can post online and feel like I wanna be here. This video I'm filming right now, I actually wanna be here talking to y'all. Before, I didn't feel that. And so I wanted to make sure that if I'm showing up, I'm showing up because I want to and not because I feel like I have to or feel like I have to maintain something. And I just really felt this pressure um, to like get back on my horse and, and do my thing and not be. Also, it was a pressure for myself, too, because I remember saying before I had Xander, I remember saying that I wasn't going to let being a mom change me. <laughs> um, like, I'm still going to be me. I'm still going to do me. I'm still going to have my life. And postpartum kind of threw me for a loop. I wasn't expecting to not feel so much like myself. I think I was expecting to not feel like myself, but I wasn't expecting to be so confused about what I wanted to do going forward as far as like content creation and who I am, how I show up on my platforms, you know? Yummy glow serum, I'm gonna put this on too. Once I stopped scrolling, I realized like so much of the pressure and stuff that I was feeling ceased to exist when I wasn't looking at what everybody else is doing and trying to like be like, okay, how do I differentiate myself from them? Cause I'm not the type of person to look at people and be like, I need to do this, I need to do that. I see people doing stuff and I'm like, okay, well, how can I, how can I show up differently? How can I, you know? And I don't even like that feeling. At that point, I didn't like that feeling either cause it still felt like a form of comparison. It's not the same, but it was a form of me trying to com compete. Again, a lot of this wasn't my idea. It wasn't my intention to feel this way. Just in general, like people are like, oh, you should be doing this. like. You could be doing this, you could be making money doing this. And I'm just like, first of all, as a firstborn daughter, I'm exhausted. I did my, uh, I did a doctor's appointment, my first one postpartum, which has been nice because I, I got some validation that I needed. I did a scan with my doctor and she was like, yeah, you, you are showing signs of, of severe burnout. But a lot of that is just like being a firstborn, you know, I've realized in this time that like, I've always kind of been a mom. <laughs> I've been operating in a mom-like capacity and I've always called it like big sister probs. But really it's me trying to protect and save everyone. I don't know if y'all watched Breaking Bad. That's one of my favorite shows now. I watched it earlier this year and I'm watching it again because my sister and her fiance are watching it. So I'm watching it with them now. And some of the stuff that they say in that show is like, so me, cause I be on my Walter White sometimes. I can't protect you if, if such and such happens. And dude was like, I didn't ask you to. I wasn't asking you to protect me. And I'm that type of person. Like I'm the type, I be trying to protect people. I kind of always take over that role of like trying to help people and protect them and, and fix them when they didn't ask. Doing that on top of being a mom has been very exhausting for me. And I've realized that some of the ways that I feel valuable are not healthy. It's a way of thinking that isn't sustainable for me. Um, especially again, as a mom now, I have my main priority, which is taking care of my kid and then managing my, um, my marriage and making sure I'm good in that. I can't take care of everybody and make sure they're good, you know? So I've been doing a lot of not relaxing, but just slowing down and not trying to control everything and everybody. So this is the blurring bomb, the yummy blurring bomb. Love this because it is a cream. It goes on like a cream, but it sets, first of all, this color match is crazy. This is number seven. Um, and it, it's a good, it's a really good match for me. It is very neutral though. So that's why I apply the glow serum with the, the more like bronzy undertone because then it kind of gives me a little bit of bronze. I've been in my, um, I call it my soft girl era, but basically it's just me trying to manage my tendencies. <laughs> my motherly big sister, take care of everybody, make sure everybody's good and forget about myself tendencies. Now, let's be clear. Before having a baby, I was very selfish. And not selfish in a bad way, but just like, I always made sure I was good. Like, I'm always self-reflecting. I'm always, you know, taking care of myself, doing a lot of self-care, doing a lot of traveling, doing a lot of, you know, just doing a lot. And then now that I can't do that as much anymore because obviously I gotta take care of him, I can just hop on a plane whenever I want and escape. It's also not easy for me to um, do a lot of the things that I really enjoy doing and I already know some of you are gonna be like, well, why don't you get daycare? Why don't you listen? Do y'all have daycare money? 
I don't know if y'all know, but daycare is a mortgage payment. I don't know. I like I like being with my child. I feel like I would feel really guilty if I did that. Number one, mom guilt. Um, and I do have help. So like the days where I really, really do need a break or I need somebody to come help, like I have my sister come over and watch him or I drop him off with them. Um, oh, this is the Huda Beauty, um, the Nutmeg 520G foundation stick. And I use that to contour. And I'm also gonna use Huda Beauty concealer in the color Cookie Dough. And then I'm gonna use a darker color, Charlotte Tilbury's. Um, beautiful skin concealer in the color deep 14 which is like more like my skin tone and I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit so yeah I mean I do have help I do have a village you know it's not like I don't have help I'm, ex I'm accepted that I'm not in the phase of my life where I can just do what I want to do to be quite frank there's a certain amount of work that I have to do to maintain the level of lifestyle that I was living before I had a child I was doing too much when I was in that phase of my life um, I was spending money willy-nilly that I ain't got to spend like that no more because I ain't working like that no more. And if we're gonna be real about it, being an entrepreneur and being a um, content creator is expensive. There are a lot of things that we do that cost money. Aside from just the content creation itself, being a corporation, like having a business, having employees, having people to pay, having a, an accountant and an assistant and having like all of those things cost money. So on top of that, y'all want me to get daycare? Absolutely not. The last year that I was really fully operating as a full-time business with my husband working alongside me and then also hiring his sister and then all of that was a lot. Um, it was too much on me. It was mentally, it was too much on me to be a boss. It just was because, I mean, I was basically working overtime to make sure that everybody's taken care of. And not to say that I didn't have help because they, all three of us were working together, but at the same time, it's like, if I don't make content, the bulk of the work is not being done. So that means that nobody's gonna get paid. <laughs> and because I am I am the type of person I am, I feel like all the pressure on me. So obviously like I'm trying to maintain this level of professionalism that being postpartum and getting to a point where I felt like I was burnt out was just too much for me. And then being overstimulated by the screaming child that y'all hear in the background. Being a stay-at-home mom and a business owner at the same time was a lot. I've been girl bossing for the last 15 years of my life, you know? Um, since I was in college, I was, I've been hustling, honey. And I just, I feel like I deserved time to get myself together and just be, let my man take care of me, you know? And my, my saying for the last couple months has been, I don't need this, my man got two jobs. I really don't need this and my man does have two jobs. At least not right now. You know, that's not to say that like I won't feel like myself again. I won't feel like girl bossing again. But just right now, being a mom and trying to adjust, there's been a lot of changes happen in the last year or so. And it's a lot for me to process. And I'm like, I got to give myself a little grace here. One size, Ultra Peach. Ultra Peach. Loving this powder. It's not pink, but it's not yellow. And I love that for me. And I'm going to use this beauty blender. Take some of that. I'm going to rub it here to make sure it's evenly distributed onto the puff and then I'm gonna press that into my under eye to set that. Therapy was my first step. Obviously there are physical things that I wanna do aside from my mental health. I wanna also manage my physical health as well. So that's coming to be quite honest with y'all. I just had to make sure we had the proper uh, <laughs> the proper benefits. So I'm definitely gonna be back in the, the chiropractor's office. I'm gonna hit the gym and um, work on my pelvic floor and get this diastasis better um because it's it's definitely a thing mom pooch that's not going away and those abs are bad first step was doing was doing therapy and i feel like it's really been helping to just kind of manage my emotions better because again postpartum rage i just feel like fighting like all the time like and it's not like just random fighting it's like obviously stuff that bothers me or i feel like i can't change or can't fix in the moment i'm like getting heated but it's not a normal heated. Like, if you know me and you follow me for a long time, you know Vicky don't get upset about stuff. Okay, stuff didn't upset me like that. I was, I'm never the type to be easily riled up, you know? Like, I've always been the type to manage my emotions well in the moment. Like, I can just take a break, simmer down, you know? I withdraw, handle my emotions, and then come back the next day, tell you how I felt. It's fine. These days, I am a fly off the handle kind of girl. In the moment, like, telling people how I really, really feel, telling Cam how I feel. Um, and he's like, normally you wouldn't care about this. Like, why are you crying about that? Why is that bothering you? Like, you know, he's trying to understand me and I am grateful for him because he's patient. 
but sometimes I really be wanting him to fight me. Like, not fight me physically, but just like, kind of tussle with me, go back and forth. Like, I wanna argue with you, can you argue with me? Like, who am I, why am I arguing, I don't know. But he doesn't argue, so it doesn't work. So then I get mad because I'm like, I have all these big feelings and you don't have big feelings back. So why aren't you big feelings in with me? Um, This is the Kat Von D Lock It Powder. This one is a little dark for me, but I'm gonna use it anyway because um, we need to blend out. Girl, the rage has been real. Like I've really been feeling like fighting everyone. Not a lot, just a little fight. Just a little like tussle, like argument, like but go back and forth with me. But nobody, again, nobody in my family is like that. Nobody's argumentative, but maybe my dad. But everybody else is kind of just like very chill. So the fact that nobody argues with me is like, it makes me mad. <laughs> So that's been me trying to let go of things, let go of control, which is why I cut my hair. It's very hard for me to accept the lack of control. Almost like my value is tied to controlling everything around me. And having a kid is literally the worst thing you can do if you have control issues. <laughs> not the worst thing. It might be the best thing because it might let you know you're actually not in control. It's a it's a wake up call. Let's call it that. It's a wake up call for those of us who have control issues because there's so much you can't really control when you have a kid down to like even how my birth and stuff went. Um, it was just like a huge slap in the face. Like, girl, you thought that if you did everything right and you tried your hardest you would be in complete control of this whole situation and that is not how that works you don't get to say what your birth is going to be like like you can manage your own emotions and expectations but as far as how it goes and how everything plays out and what that baby does to come out of you ain't up to you and that's what i had to accept and unfortunately that is not what i wanted <laughs> when i came into this that's not the you know um mentality that i had so it was hard for me to accept that, and it's still kind of hard for me to accept that I didn't get what I wanted, you know? Even though I do have a lot of control over how things go with my body, there are a lot of things in postpartum that I don't have control over. You know, your hormones are out of whack, your body's out of whack, and things have to go back together. Yes, a lot of that is still in your control because you have to take care of yourself, but a lot of it is like, trial and error, figuring it out, don't know what's going on. Said all to say, long story short, that's why I cut my hair because I felt like I needed to do something that I was in control over. I was I was sick of my hair shedding on me like that and I was like, you not finna, you not finna sun me hair. So I cut it. <laughs> do I regret it? No, no, absolutely not. Y'all already know I'm, I'm, I'm a sucker for short hair, okay? I love me some short hair. Um, I did kind of color it too. It's a chocolate brown, but you can't really tell. But I'm gonna lighten it again. I'm gonna do it another time. Um, because I want to, I want to get a little bit lighter. I'm, I'm gonna do blush. I got two of the Fenty blushes, Fenty Cheeks Suede Powder Brush. So I got blush. So I got two of these, Summertime Wine, and I got the Drama Class. And I'm gonna do Drama Class because I had the cream one. They discontinued it and they brought out this. So I was like, I definitely gotta check this out for y'all because. Anytime I wear the purple one, people are like, oh my God, that color's so pretty. How do you, where do you get it? And I'm like, guys, they don't make it anymore. Fenty discontinued. This one is is um, powder, so let's see how it is. Overall, after cutting my hair, I feel a thousand times better. I don't feel like my life is as out of control. I love the shape of this. Look at that. It's so cute. And also, the other thing too, as soon as I cut my hair, I feel like opportunities started opening up for me to do stuff. When I tell y'all I was about to quit, literally in June, I was like, this is it. After this campaign, that I'm, this last one I'm doing, I'm not doing no more. I'm quitting for the rest of the year. I'm not working. This one looks like pretty purple. Ooh. Um, but yeah, I was I was really through. I was like, y'all not gonna see me no more. Like, I mean, you're gonna see me, but I was like, as a in a professional capacity, I was not finna show up. I was just gonna post when I felt like posting, and that's it. Ooh, ooh, I like that. That's really pretty. But yeah, I was like, girl, I'm gonna quit. Like, don't ask me for nothing. Don't ask me for no videos. I'm not posting nothing. I'm not saying nothing. I'm not promoting anything. Get out of my face. As soon as I cut my hair, I was like, oh, I'm back. I'm back. Immediately, I got some opportunities. So I feel like that was just God telling me, <sighs> um, what was he telling me? <laughs> I don't know, something along the lines of just wait. Go through your process and wait on me. They that wait. 
shall renew their strength. You know what I mean? Again, I'm still not going to be like coming back full throttle, full capacity, like posting every week, posting, you know what I mean? But I am going to be taking opportunities when they come, not shooting down my own opportunities, self-sabotaging. I'm not going to do that. But I am going to take it day by day because I do still want to be a full-time mom. That's my priority. And to be quite honest with y'all, like me quitting wasn't just about like, oh, I'm sick of social media and I feel like I can't do it. It was more so like, I do want to take time off to be a full-time mom. This is the Fenty mascara, by the way. Um, the, the hella thick. I do, oh, I should have sprayed. I should have sprayed. Okay, so I got sprays. I got the one size one and then I got this one. This is the Milk pore eclipse. I'm gonna use the Hydro Grip primer first because, or not the Hydro Grip setting spray first because it's hydrating. And then I'm gonna use this because this one is no transfer, but it is kind of not drying, but just a little bit, mattif it's mattifying. So it is gonna make me feel really, you know? So I'm gonna do the Hydro Grip one first. And then I'm gonna go in with the pore eclipse when that dries. I want social media and like being a content creator, being an influencer to be my hobby again. And I feel like that's what I've been missing from this is doing this for fun. Anytime you make, I make anything a job, it's not fun to me anymore. And I don't know if that's cause I have demand avoidance. I don't think it's laziness. I think I just, when I have the pressure of doing something in a professional capacity, it no longer is like, fun to me and I miss when this was a hobby. I am still gonna be like doing, you know, content that's sponsor content and stuff like that. So it is technically work, but I want it to not feel like work. So I'm learning how to do this as for the enjoyment of it. I do wanna take some time to just um, learn myself again and learn how to enjoy this as a hobby and do this for fun. Cause I do miss that aspect of social media. I miss when posting on YouTube was like just a fun thing to do on a Wednesday. It wasn't like my bills were relying on this. I was just doing it because my husband was at work and I didn't have anything else I wanted to do. And so I'm trying to get back to that mentality and this is the Huda Beauty one coat because I love multiple coats of mascara, okay? Shout out to my eyelashes for growing back because after I had lash extensions for like three years straight, <laughs> I was really scared they weren't gonna grow back, but they did. I want to enjoy being a mom or at least try to enjoy it. Well, okay, so I'll say this, I'll say this, I'll say this. Do I enjoy doing mom things and the responsibility of motherhood? Absolutely not. Do I enjoy my kid and, and think he's awesome? Absolutely, he's the best kid in the world. There are moments, there are moments that are really cute and precious, but am I having fun? No, being a mom is a lot of work and I'm not gonna sit up here and lie to y'all and say that I'm having the time of my life because I'm really not. If I was like the husband in the situation, like if, and this is not to say my husband doesn't do anything because he does, he's a good man, he's a good husband, he's a good man, Savannah. I feel like men have it easier, like they don't have the, the full body transformation, they don't have the mental, emotional load of motherhood that we do. And so I feel like if I didn't have that mental load, I would be having more fun. But the mental load for me is really hard because I mean, I'm not diagnosed, but I'm 99% sure that I'm neurospicy. The way that I get overstimulated extremely easy, I don't know if this is every mom and moms in the chat, y'all can chime in, but I get overstimulated all the time. Like lights are too bright, noises, I can count how many I hear at once. Um, I can only say stop so many times before I explode. So by the time my husband comes home from work, I'm like, please, I'm about to jump out the window. I do love my kid. I love him to death. He's amazing and very, very smart. And I mean, I knew that was gonna happen already because I'm really smart. It's just really hard. I didn't realize that being a mom would be so hard for me. Again, as I get healthier, it's getting much better. I already told y'all that I went to the doctor, um, had my checkup, I got some new supplements. So I've definitely been feeling better since, since I cut my hair and since I've been taking my supplements, I've been feeling a thousand times better. So just getting back to myself and taking care of myself is gonna be the key here. I don't wanna look back and think I missed out on motherhood and enjoying him at such a small age because I was just annoyed all the time. Okay, so I've already set with the um, Hydro Grip. I'm gonna go in with the Milk um, Pour Eclipse. That just helps to make my face extremely bulletproof, okay? now. I posted on socials the other day that my face does not move and I don't get oily anymore because of this spray, this combo, the blurring balm and the pore eclipse. Girl, face don't go nowhere. 
Um, this is the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil. You can tell that I like it because look how small it is. It's Limitless Brown. I love this pencil color. It's like the perfect mid brown for me. And then on top of that, I'm gonna do this NARS color. This is Bad Guy. This is the Power Matte, I believe. And it's just like a Molly Nude color. And then on top of that, I'm gonna do a little bit of my concealer actually to make it more neutral. I'm feeling a little more neutral today. Just a dot of my concealer. And that's a little trick I do to get my perfect nude. I, sometimes I do a little gloss on top. I'm gonna use the NARS gloss, Lover to Lover. Okay, so this is my full face. That is transfer proof. No transfer, okay? Listen, you love that. Last thing I wanted to show y'all was the hair products that I got. So for my short hair, I've been trying to find a good combo of products that not only pop my curls and make them look nice and curly, but hold the curl as well. And so I tried the Am Amica, Amica? Amica, I don't know, but I've heard really good things about these products, so I wanted to try them. This is the Hydro Rush moisture mask oh my god it makes my my curls feel so good um and this is three day hair y'all i did my hair on sunday morning before church i used this mask in the shower very very thick but i heard it works well for low porosity hair which i feel like my hair has become more low porosity i don't know if that's a change that happened after having a baby or if my hair has always been like that but lately it's been feeling like nothing penetrates my hair leave it on for five minutes in the shower it did amazing. And then I also got in from that same line, um, the Dream Routine Overnight Hydration Treatment. But I, I'm gonna try this overnight next time. I wanna do like wash my hair at night and then do an overnight mask treatment. So I'm gonna try this. It's a no rinse thing so you can put it in and you don't have to rinse it out. After I did the hydration mask, I went in with my leave-in conditioner. And then I put the curl cream on top and this curl cream is by Way. Heard great things about Way. This is the first Way product that I've tried on my hair. I really like this. I feel like it really worked to make my curls look really good. It mixed really well with the Stronghold gel from Pattern. There wasn't really that much frizz. This is the third day my hair has been like this and I have not touched it. I haven't had to reapply any product to it, nothing. I literally don't even tie my hair down at night. Like I just sleep with a satin pillowcase. It's just so low maintenance. I love that for me. I just love that my face is touchable now. If I do seem like I'm not doing as much anymore, it's because I am trying to be like full-time mom and just take care of myself. But I am gonna share with you guys some progress that I'm making with just like my overall health, um, getting my body back together and trying to feel my best because I deserve. Like I'm a good mom and I've been doing a good job. So pass on the back for me. Yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out all the links in the description box for Sephora. Be sure to sign up for the Sephora Beauty Insider program if you haven't already and that's it i will talk to you guys in my next one see you guys later